Well, hey everybody, I'm Stephen Maxwell, and welcome to this week's episode of KSLA Investigates Cold Cases. We're taking a look back at one of the city of Minden's oldest cold cases, dating back to 2017. Tyrone Sumlin was shot and killed on September 3rd, 2017. The 35-year-old was standing in his driveway in Minden when he was shot on Coral Street. His body was found later that night, and to this day, there is still no justice in his case. He left behind four daughters and his mother, Ruth Lee Sumlin. He was killed September 3rd, 2017. And the last time I spoke to him on the phone was September 3rd, 2017. What did he say? And before I got off the phone, you know, we talked normal talk. I told him what I had cooked. He loved banana pudding, that was his favorite. I had made a banana pudding. And he said, ooh, mama, I sure want some. He said, well, I gotta work tonight, and I'll get it tomorrow, that next day. Before we got off of the phone, I said, I love you. He said, I love you too, mama. And that was the last time that I heard my son voice. So here's what's happened since then. Three years after the murder in 2020, a search for answers took investigators into a Webster Parish Creek. Minden's fire department dive team spent hours searching Mile Creek off of Bayou Avenue. They were looking for a gun connected to someone's murder. After searching hours off of a tip, they found nothing. We think it's a hit, but we don't know why. I mean, who did it? What did Ty do to have somebody so mad that they want to kill him? I mean, cold-blooded killing. Two years later, in 2022, family and detectives held a news conference announcing a local business anonymously offered a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. And I love him and I miss him. And I just wish somebody would speak up. Just speak up, old tidy boy. That's all we want for y'all to speak up. Because I have hard days. I have sad days. I cry for my child, but I pray. And I pray and keep the faith that one day that we're going to get an answer because it's almost five years. At that time, Minden police officials said they do have a person of interest but did not reveal any more information. MPD also said they re-interviewed witnesses, ran several polygraph tests, and even sent new evidence off to a lab. Now a family is waiting and hoping for any answers seven years later. So if anybody know anything, anything, just speak up because Tyrone don't have a voice now. So it's time for us to speak up for Ty. Speak up for Ty, because he didn't deserve it. Somebody went over there and left him on the ground so he couldn't get up. He was a good person. I know because he was my son. I miss my son every day. She miss her brother every day. She miss her nephew every day. But I can tell y'all one thing, this is the hardest thing for me to say, coming from a mother, that I forgive y'all. I forgive y'all for what y'all did to my son, but y'all got to forgive y'all self. You cannot hate a person and pray for them too. But I pray for y'all. Wherever y'all are, God touch them. Touch them for do the right thing. Because my son deserves justice. And all the people that have had a loved one been killed by gun violence and not knowing who did it is the hardest thing that we have to deal with day and day. He have kids that got to, got to grow up without their father. Say your name, Jesus. Bless us, Lord. Bless us, Lord, to give us justice for my son. I love you, Ty. I love you, Ty. If you have any information in the death of Tyrone Sumlin, reach out to the Minden Police Department at the number on the bottom of your screen. Coming up next Tuesday on KSLA Investigates Cold Cases, we're going to be talking with the detective that's assigned to this case. Have a great day, everybody.